What's up guys, today I'm gonna to run through a little tutorial on how to use the new split screen film match from Tropicolor uh, to really add like tons of cool effects and style to your music videos, documentaries, commercials, whatever you wanna do. But um, you know, I, I'm primarily, I would see using this in a lot of like commercial-esque stuff or music videos. And right now I'm just gonna run down how easy it is to uh, use and make. So you can see quite a few of the uh, split screen film mats here. Uh, these are all mats used or made from actual film scans from 16 um, and 35 millimeter film. And we've created a ton of different options for you to play with and use in your edit. And then you simply just drag it in and drag your foot, uh, drag the PNG in. They're 8K, so you can size them up, very high resolution. And then you just put your uh, your film or clip in here. Here's all 30. So for example, if I dragged in this number three right here into my edit software, I put a white clip below it just so you can see, uh, it's a white background, just so you can see the uh, the film mat. This is all, everything is pre-keyed. So literally all you're going to do is drag your clip in and it will appear below the mat. So the mat is right here. We're gonna take this clip of Kyle we're just gonna find a good little moment here. We'll take this and I'm gonna drag it under there and you'll see it just appear below the mat. Then it's as simple as sizing it up to fit the mat, scooting it over, boom. So now we have it inside of that mat and then all we have to do is just add another clip underneath that. So we'll take this shot of brick, we'll drag that underneath that clip and fit that in that mat as well. Boom, simple as that. So as you can see, all of the mats are pre-keyed 8K uh, PNGs. You drag in your timeline and then you just place and move your footage where you want it, crop it underneath that mat and it will fulfill or fill the mat. And then you can have some cool new effects for your videos. So many different types of split screens and way to utilize them uh, for different ways and edits. Uh, right here, you can see a bunch, I did a bunch of different split screens with this Kyle video. Um, I'll show you a couple examples over here as well. So here you can see I used this motorbike clip, place it in this one. Then I actually had this clip uh, run into this second uh, little section over here. So it kind of runs into here. And then over on this middle one, I placed a film burn and a logo. And then over here, another little film burn. So, so many different ways to utilize these mats. Um, if I come over to here, you can see some of my Converse footage from a Converse commercial I did and the way I placed them all throughout. So you can see right here, I have uh, this clip of him dribbling the ball up in this one, a shot of the shoe by the rim on this one. This one is a film burn with the Converse logo over it here. This is a shot of the basketball going through the hoop. And then this shot I had live in both uh, you know, squares here and it just, that black line kind of, kind of gives it a cool split, but it's actually the same whole clip. I could crop it over so it's just at that black line and put a different clip in here, but I thought it was cool to let this whole clip live and move within that split like that. It gives like a really cool look that you just can't duplicate anywhere else other than these mats. And you can see all the footage kind of moving around right here. So this, this stuff could, I mean, there's really endless possibilities. There's 30 different ones. There's so many ways you could, you could flip them, you could mirror them vertically, horizontally. You can add different clips in different ways all throughout. So there's really kind of like so many different endless possibilities to, you know, using these, these mats. Here you can see again, um, I could have let this whole brick clip run down into this one, but I thought it would be cool if I had them look down at the clip below here and then we have a big master performance over here. So there's so many different ways you can get creative. Here's some footage from Tulum. Again, I let this clip live all the way through this one. I could put a different clip here. I could film burn this little section here. And I'll show you an example of that really quick, but letting the green, orange, pink colors pop. So kind of like what I said, you can see I have this clip here and I let this clip run through this whole mat here, uh, but then I, cropped out and just put a film burn just on the left side. So this is all one clip, but then, then on this little split over here, I have a little film burn playing on that one, and then a different clip of the girl standing below it. 
so you can see if I move it back and forth, just kind of the cool effects. So really there's like so many endless possibilities with this. Everything is pre-keyed, super easy. I wish there was more to this tutorial, but it's as simple as literally dragging in the PNG and placing your clips inside of it. Extremely easy, really takes no work or effort at all, uh, but you can get some really cool looks. And uh, I'm excited. The reason I created these or we created these at Tropic Color uh, is I wanted these for my own projects. And then we realized how awesome they were and just wanted to kind of, this d doesn't exist out there. We looked and, and it was like, yo, let's just build out and make a pack um, that's really easy and cool um, to do for you know different music videos, commercials, films, whatever you want to do. So we're super stoked on it. I'm super excited to use it myself um, and now you guys can as well. So that's really it for this tutorial. Again, you can go pick up the pack. I'll put the link in the description below. There's 30 of them. Uh, a lot of different ways you can just get super creative with it and have a lot of fun in your edits. So all I have for you guys today in today's tutorial, uh, I'm Jacob Owens for the Buff Nerds.